we do have some other stuff that I want to check out back down here because I did see that branching pathway earlier oh I get it oh it's just death okay. My name is Seljo Scott, coming to you guys with part 15 of a, sp or of a Spyro, Spyro, A Hero's Tale for the Sony PlayStation 2. So, we opened up our Patreon, so that will now be in the link in the description below, where you guys can actually physically choose the next Let's Play. The next one, the next tier will be a Versus one, and as for the third and final tier, so there'll be five, ten, fifteen dollars Um, we have yet to decide. And each of them you'll be posted into the end intro credits and outro credits of every video. So, we're going to be doing the Sparks levels, and I did some research. Should I There's at here? least two more uh, Blink levels, including the one here, and at least three more Speedways. There's a Speedway in every world, so I'm assuming there's going to be one of every level in every world. So, how do I uh, do things again? Oh yeah, it's, it's R1 for that. Also, why do those enemies not have sound effects when dying? I guess it's because they're too far away, right? So... Rapid fire! Like, these Sparks levels are fine and all. I just don't find them very... entertaining. I feel like they're the same thing over and over. Wait, I thought we took damage for a second there. So that sound effect, but... I love how you can't even pick those up, like, if you have full speed. Wait, is that another dash potion down there? Oh, I know, it's just a torch. More rockets, yeah. I ne I've never really felt the need to use rockets either, because I swear every enemy dies in one hit, so... Like, is there a reason to use these? I guess it's AoE, right? But it doesn't really benefit you that much. Rapid Fire is definitely the better ability. Also, is there really just... Is the whole threat of this level just snow that makes it hard to see? Also, what's that? What does that even do? Oh, you have to press triangle for that. That's interesting. Like I said, I don't think I've ever really used those abilities as a kid. Like, I never found these too difficult. I don't find them very fun either, but... Like, they're not bad. And I took damage even though I was aiming right at the enemy, so I'm confused. I think spiders are probably the most difficult, just because they have a long range attack. As for those chameleon guys, I haven't really seen what they can do, and we already got help. And this is the ending already. Ready. Ow, two minutes in, and we already beat this level. Okay, how long is it going to go on for? Sheesh. Thank you for my dragon egg. We are also 51% done the game, by the way. Here you go, Hunter. I got a dragon egg. Yay, it's the ugly egg. Should I try again to see if I can find a light gem? Why do you all of a sudden get super excited? Also, there were no falling rocks or anything. That was literally easier than the last level. Now, I know for a fact we get speed boost stuff. So, I might as well just kind of like bum rush it as much as possible. The amount of gems you get in here, too, are kind of minuscule. Also, I'm not looking forward to the speedways. The speedways are my least favorite part of this game. I'm not saying they're bad. Oh, look, the Yetis are in here, and they're also surprisingly small, considering, uh, Ow. Considering, like, how small Sparks is. And Eskimos. I still don't get the whole Eskimo thing, by the way. Like, it really doesn't make sense. Also, we killed that enemy that was behind cover. How that's even possible? Don't ask me. Also, I forget which enemies are technically the ones that are supposed to drop, uh, health. I know some enemies drop health. Also, you never get rapid fire in very useful spots. You ever notice that? Oh, look, a bomb. We can nuke some of the- I guess I should start using those abilities on, like, certain enemies. Like, over here, for example. Just nuke everything. It didn't- I don't think it killed the spider. I think it paralyzed it. But it didn't really do anything else. Also, we got health again at some point. 
Oh, I thought I got damaged there because of a spear or something, but no, I just... See, I killed that mole down there, yet I feel like I wasn't really aiming at him. Also, I feel like you get a lot less boost when you're uh, in these, like, harder levels. In my opinion, though, these are easier than, like, even, like, the first level of Spyro. That's just how... Like, like look at that, we're already at the end. Literally took about the exact same amount of time, too. And now we should have a light gem under our belt. Super easy, and I could have probably did that in the last episode, but I cut it short because my butt was getting sore from recording. Okay, Hunter, I got that light gem. There was nothing else down there, but I can always go back and practice. It was good fun. Yeah, no, you were literally just complaining before we started this. Also, you couldn't have given me health sparks. Like, how are you alive over there? Now, there's actually two pathways. One with a moving platform and one with a climbable wall. So, I guess we'll go with the climbable wall way. I also can't attack, and I know for a fact there's an evil spider on here. Because not only can you hear it, but i seen it. Okay, I don't really care about dying. I kind of needed health anyway. Oh. I was going to take a break to take a drink, but I forgot the loading time is like... Can I, like, maybe kill you? I actually don't even know if you can. Oh my god, he's coming back. Actually, I don't think it's a spider. It only has four legs. I don't actually know what it is. It's like some kind of crystalline, creepy, crawly thing. Their sound effects when crawling are kind of... Um... Beer. Beer! Which way are you going, buddy? Because they're on a set path. And they kind of just loop around. I really wish you could, like, use the camera to see what you're doing. But climbing in this game, you really don't get that option. Oh, it looks like we made it over here. Wherever this may be. Alrighty then, and then we can hit that target, which will... Hmm. Oh, there's actually something up there. I didn't even notice that before. I guess it really wouldn't have mattered too much, because I wouldn't have been able to get to it anyway, but there's a light gem up here. Alright. Is there a way, like, I can cheese this, or... Okay. He just, uh, did not grab on. Okay, we're back here. Whoa! I forgot about this section. I kind of want to go back, though, to see what was over there. Because there was clearly those movable platforms. So... Okay, you can grab on, but I... Th you gotta wait for this bug again. He does the... He stops to do this weird, like, little... Ah! Thing down there. Oh, wait, no. We're supposed to follow him. I forgot. These... The wall surface kind of reminds me of, um... Wrath of Cortex, with like the medieval levels, like the texture. Cause I know it's pixelated and that's why it looks weird. Alright, maybe we'll just ignore that for right now. I also guess the loading time is solely based off of, um... Uh, whatchamacallit. Like how far away you are from the checkpoint, but still. I'm also pretty sure you're able to destroy these with, yeah, with fire arrows. Ooh, that's, um... Ow. I'm trying to turn the camera there, buddies. Hey, light gem, sweet. We're only missing two light gems and one egg, and I know for a fact one of them is in there, so we're gonna have to go back at some point. I'll probably do that on my own time. For right now, ooh. You okay? Oh, Hunter, am I glad to see you. Do you think you can get me down? 
Yeah, just hang in there, buddy. Ha ah, ha, very funny. Hunter. Now I'm off to find Red. Hey, you want me to uh, tag along? No, no, no. I'll continue from here. All right, then. See you soon, buddy. You look after yourself. Cool? <laughs> All right, goodbye. And I believe this is the Citadel. Right? This is the Citadel, I think. Are we in the Citadel? Yeah, this is the Ice Citadel, which has four teleporters and is massive. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can kill these, right? Yeah, with Electric Breath. That's the one benefit about Electric Breath, is it can kill enemies that the other breaths wouldn't. Now remember, Water Breath doesn't actually do anything. Like, it just straight up doesn't do anything, which sucks. Actually, I kind of want to see what it does to enemies. Oh yeah, it does that. It just stuns them. I, I didn't think it did anything of, like, importance. Now, I know there's a chest back there, I just want to kill all these enemies. Oh, there's a money bags thing right there, cool. Super convenient. I highly doubt this is going to be anything, because as the first chest here, kind of seems weird. Yeah, I didn't think it would be anything, which is perfectly fine. I, I wasn't expecting anything, that's for sure. Cool courtyard, that sounds funny. Uh, and I don't think he has anything yet. I remember getting gems being harder than this. Like, I felt like I was always running out of money when getting keys all the time, but... I don't know. Seems easier than I remember, that's for sure. I don't know why I did that. I keep forgetting this... Wait, does lightning breath work on this... Okay, no, it doesn't work on this shield. Even though you think it technically would, considering it does break metal... So there's multiple pathways, which is interesting. So we know there's no blink section in the Icy Citadel. So I'm assuming this is where the Sergeant Bird level will be, because we've already seen Blink Zone that was back in the Icy Wilderness. Oh, you had a shield. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, those. Also, can you... Why did he, like, 360 twice? That was annoying. Also, sometimes it's better to just tap the electric breath, because... Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, this one is kind of weird, because it actually requires you to use your... breath types on things. That's a free light gem, that's cool. And I guess we can burn that. These kind of came back, except they don't look cool in this game. So what's the other way? How many gem stuff are here? Five more, so all of the um, gems are in the first. I know we still. I think we still have a. We still have three over here. Yeah, we barely discovered this. So, yeah, we have to go back there. But for right now, we'll, we'll go and check out this place. Because remember, we can't even take on the boss if we wanted to. Oh, never mind. There isn't another pathway there. So, I guess we'll just. Wait on here. Those enemies really remind me of, um... Their sound effect reminds me of a different game. I also hear a light gem. I think it's up above. I can literally just straight up hear it. Also, there's a lot of dark gem shards, but I believe this is supposed to be the mine where they're uh, getting everything. So, before we open up that door, let's see where this leads us. Oh, it's, it's just straight up right there. Really? Two of the eight light gems already, and I know one of them is going to be... Actually, Sergeant Bird might be in the other world. Oh, and we can go and grab this. Wow, that is a lot of gems. Wait, hang on. Where's the... Uh... Okay, this way. Oh, both of them lead to... Totally different areas. That's interesting. So it doesn't really look like one or the other will lead us anywhere of more importance. And we can't get in that door. So it loops around at some point. So maybe we'll go this way? It's hard to decide which direction we want to go in, but this is a lot of money. 
Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. We can't even go this way. So we have to go up above. Never mind. That completely justifies what I want to do. I like that. So, well, um... I, I still don't know why this platform moves exactly. Also, money bags, I really don't need to go to your shop right now. Unless you sell something cool and unique, there's really no reason to even go to you. So that's that, buddy. Alright, let's switch back to Electric Breath, because I like... Oh, the Yetis are back. Well, wow, they die instantly to Electric Breath. You don't even have to hold it down like other enemies. I don't know if they're just weak to electric or what, but I don't really feel like I should have did that much damage, but just saying. Like, see, he just healed over. It's so weird. Okay. I just like being able to destroy the metal uh, crates. So what's this? Oh, that's just gems. You can tell because it's one of the target things. That's kind of sneaky, actually. Yeah, green gems. Pathetic. Alright, I guess we'll... Is there anything beyond this door that... Or that we could have missed? I don't think so. Oh, that is a lot of traps. Like, what is with the bear traps, exactly? Like, who's just throwing down random bear traps thinking this will stop us? Hunter, sure, because you can only kill them with, like, one specific ability. And don't tell me this is going to be another, like, egg or something. Or maybe not? Oh, maybe that's to, um... Progress? Also, why do these look suspicious? Oh, they are suspicious! And we got ourselves another checkpoint, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's switch back to this. Almost used charge instead of flame and ran in for, I guess, electric in this case. Oh, what do we got? Still just a straightaway. And their sound effects are so funny. Uh, I always forget to just wait them out sometimes. I guess Norks are just more electric repellent than other enemies. Which I kind of, kind of find funny. Wait, did I just skip over this enemy? Or did he appear from somewhere else? Oh, I thought that was a breakable wall for a second. All the walls look like that. Oh, and a free dark gem, and looks like we're gonna fall through the floor. Yep. Ah. Uh, random dragon elder. There's the wall jump abil ability. Yay! All right, let's grab some health and then talk to the dragon elder. Who are you? Are you from Spiral One? here since Red returned from exile. Oh, I've met with the other Dragon Elders and I... Yes, yes, I get it. And you have acquired most of the skills you will need. However, there is one more skill you must have if you are to face Red. Well? Some place to go, have you? You now have the ability to wall kick from one wall to the other. However, they must be close enough to achieve any real height. In order to wall kick, you must jump onto the wall and jump again after contact. Spyro, you must remember that only certain wall types will allow you to perform the wall kick. You must learn their telltale signs, none of your ADD. Attention Deficit Disorder? So, yeah, anyways, Aster... I can't remember, I think he's either from Artisans or from... Um, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Um... Okay, I thought maybe that door was one that could open, but it's not. Can't exactly remember which zone he's from. Either that or, like, Magic Crafters or something. So they are all Spiral 1 dragons. I'm glad that they kept that reference. That's one thing I really like about games that are kind of in the Spiral universe, but aren't a mainline game. So, you know. Alright, let's see. Please be something other than gems, because I'm not really running low on gems. Okay, there's usually a light gem right after you get the ability, so there's only 80 light gems, I'm pretty sure, in the game, and we already have... Man, we haven't seen a single dragon egg here yet, though, and oh my god, there's so many zones. 
Oh yeah, he's gonna swing his that I forgot, you can still take damage from the back of the freaking, uh... I still don't get why that's a thing, by the way. Like, that you can take a take damage from the backswing of his axe. Like... So those little guys take just as long to kill as the big guys, despite being half their size. Oh, money bags! Oh, this looks like it'll be maybe Sergeant Bird. Is that the supercharge? Oh no, it's invincibility. That's concerning. Oh, no, never mind. It is supercharge. Supercharge central. Alright, so supercharge central. Interesting enough. Okay, oh, so you can kill them with the supercharge. Interesting. And more firebombs? Like, does the game really expect you to use use firebombs that much? Like, honest to god, do they expect... Also, I'm pretty sure this is the way we have to go, yeah, so we don't want to go this way just yet. Just kind of wanted to destroy those chests and see, like, what else was around here. We also need to go back for a key. Those are the biggest wastes of key. You can tell there's a dark gem here, because you can hear it, because the music, uh, cuts out. Alright, uh, let's see, where can we go? We can go this way. I keep forgetting the buttons aren't the same as the other Spyro games. There's another path through there, that's for sure. Why do I even care about that? Oh. Just a free dark gem? I wonder what this is gonna do exactly. We'll see. Oh, it's gonna break the ice fall. Opens up another pathway, interesting. So we got two Dark Gems in this episode, I'm impressed. But... We do have... Some other stuff that I want to check out back down here, because I did see that branching pathway earlier. Oh, I get it! Oh, it's just death, okay. I was going to say, like, why do you even need supercharge for this, but now I can see why. Okay, so yeah, those are just death pits. Okay. Nope, that's just what I wanted to know. Also, have yet to find a dragon egg game. That's concerning. And I think we already found everything down there, right? Yeah, we did. So, no dragon egg down there. Oh, we need more supercharge. Okay. Didn't realize that was another sewer section, so... I guess we'll go do that. And another pit, because... Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. It's not square in this game, it's circle. For whatever goofy reason. Oh. It's another egg. Oh wait, duh. Never mind. Of course that wasn't to anything, because we know this is the path. Duh. Um, that was weird. There was a big delay. Just die already. Oh my god, I should have just charged the little guy. What do we got here? We got another supercharge. Whoa, what is that guy? And, uh, how do we defeat him? Okay then, um, I'm just going to assume that we have to use the firebomb maybe? We found the Sergeant Bird portal, which is concerning, because I don't like Sergeant Bird. Uh, let's see if that's actually the case with this guy. I- Oh, he did die! Okay, so that is actually how you defeat him, with the bomb. Interesting. He's probably guarding something, right? Like an egg? Lightning bombs. Okay, that's not at all fun. And hi, bird sergeant man guy person. Uh, we'll do that in the next episode. For right now, I feel like we should do a little more exploring. I assume this is the actual citadel. And it looks like we can't get up there yet. So we can go this way and get the money bags teleporter potentially. Also, this is the loop around spot. I think. 
I don't know what the heck that was. Alright, death. 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 And guess what? More death. More death. Don't know why there are a ton of norks in here. I get why, because this is... This is supposed to be like Red's Fortress Hideout Mine Place. No, this isn't the mine. This is his fortress. His mine's later on. Also, there is a... Oh, another light gem. Okay. Oh, that's the loop around spot. Oh, I know what we're doing. We're starting up the furnaces to, I assume, melt the pathway. Also, there's that, which looks like we're gonna need supercharge, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if supercharge can go that far, can it? I'll try. If, if the supercharge can't go that far, then... Oh, maybe it can, because there is this one right here. So, first things first, I want to... Oh, you can charge across ice in this game. Okay. Alright, never mind. This will definitely make it. And before we do anything in there, I want to see if this can go up here. Oh, it can too! And then we can lower this. Another dark jam. Boom. There we go. We opened up that. There's another teleporter there, so that's pretty cool. But we can go in here for this egg. Which is even cooler, I guess. An egg is definitely pretty cool. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join our Patreon, where you guys can now choose what games we play, and I will see you guys all next time. Also, join the Discord if you guys want to, you know, chit-chat, and I kind of want to um, break this before we end the episode. Alright, bye-bye, guys.